Hello. And first off, thank you for giving me some of your valuable time. My name is Larry Morris. I'm the Financial Shaman. And on this video, we're going to just touch on, take a short while to talk about the vacuum of the mind and the vacuum of being with other people. So let's start with the vacuum of the mind. What I'm talking about with the vacuum of the mind is the fact that if you were alone or in solitary confinement with no digital devices or newspapers, you could see that your thoughts don't have the ability to get out of your perception, right? There's nothing new getting in and nothing is coming out of your mouth. Your truth isn't spoken to be able to bounce ideas off of each other. You can't collaborate. You can't ask anybody um, for constructive criticism. There's no new information getting in. So you're stuck in a thought loop over and over. You think the same thoughts you did yesterday. Not only is that torture, but it's dangerous because it stifles evolution. How else are you supposed to evolve if you're not able to see your own blind spots? And how are you supposed to see your own blind spots if you're not talking to anybody? But you're not in solitary confinement, are you? So then the other thing that I talk about is the vacuum of other people. If you were raised in poverty and believe in scarcity, that there's never enough money, and you were raised with people who believe that same thing, if you were born into poverty like I was, guaranteed you're in a vacuum, not just of your mind, but other people. If everybody thinks the same way you do, it's the same thing as being in solitary confinement. You can't get any new information in. Now, luckily you're watching this video, which is new information and different perception of your situation. But bottom line is, it's very dangerous to be in a group of people that think exactly like you do, your social circle, your family, exact, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Because, well, let me ask you like this. How often do you currently ask for constructive criticism? Right now, how often do you ask for constructive criticism about your behavior, about, you know, your spiritual growth, your financial situation? You know, if you were at school, a lot of people get constructive feedback. If you're like, you know, training to become a nurse or something, then yeah, you ask for feedback. Hey, what am I doing wrong? How do I get better? But when it comes to life, not a lot of people do that. So there's an old saying in the financial world, I guess it's in the world in general, but your net worth is the average of your five best friends or the five people you spend the most time around. And what that shows you, if you think exactly like the people around you, no new information is getting in, right? If you were, you know, if you, if you were obese and your five best friends were obese and that's all those people you spend time with, no one's going to call you out for maybe not eating that second burger, that second helping of ice cream for dessert, right? So how many wealthy friends do you have? Or how many people do you have in your life that are willing to say their truth, regardless of if it looks stupid or if it's if it goes against what everybody else thinks? How many mavericks are in your life? Do you consider yourself one? I'm not telling you to get new friends. I'm just saying, if you're caught in a vacuum, that's going to be detrimental to your growth because you're going to think things that are outdated are true when they're not. So how are you currently breaking through that vacuum? I hope that shifts some perception for you. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next time.